Hey everyone, Mitch here at the NAB booth of Aton. We're looking at the new Penelope prototype for the it's the pr prototype for the Penelope Delta, which is their digital cinema back camera. The camera is the same camera, the same as the film camera version. In fact, you can switch from film to digital in about half an hour. But this back part is all new. You have a beyond 4K delivery of, of image. You have raw capture, so it's uncompressed raw, and it's capturing to these little SSDs. And it's just a generic, regular, well, not generic, you're gonna make sure that they're a decent quality, but they're regular SSD drives. So just you put a two and a half inch drives that you put into your home computer. You get, they're rated, there are four of them, so by the time this camera is actually available in a year from now, maybe you'll get a terabyte drive here and it'll probably be a, just a few thousand dollars. That's a great way to work. I mean, that's very inexpensive. Just pops in here. You can record on there in uncompressed RAW in a DPX structure, or you can actually record in DNX HD, the Avid standard, and it's any flavor of DNX HD, anything that Avid makes, that will record. In addition to that, tucked in here behind the battery, there's has two battery mounts. And if I pull this one out of the way, you can see that right here is a uh, little SDHC card. And that is for DNX HD 36 proxy. So it's a lo relatively low bitrate file, but that's for proxy editing. You can record simultaneously to the digital uh, uncompressed as well as the digital highly compressed for your proxy editing. And you can do all your edits there and create an edit decision list and then go back to your original raw files. In addition, it has 422 and 444 video outputs. You even have another HD SDI output up here that is for an assistance monitor and that would give you an HD SDI quality image with an extra image area of a 12% look around. So just like when you look in a film viewfinder and you see the image area outside picture, you can have that on here. There's 3D LUTs, and it's a whole series of cascading 3D LUTs that you can go through. They will go onto this monitor if you want. They'll go into the HD SDI outputs in 444 or 422. They'll go onto the DNX HD. Again, you can switch between these things if you want it on one, not the other. And if you have it on, if you're recording in uncompressed RAW, then it will go as a header file in the uh, in each frame so that you can apply it if you want, you know what that look was that you were working with on set. The camera has an air channel here that, go in the, that then has this big fan here and by making it so large, it spins very, very slowly so it's silent on set, so you don't have any noisy fan. And if you look at the shape of it, with this curve here, it just wraps to your body. It's the old Aton cat on a shoulder idea is what they always say, that just wraps on it, it's very comfortable to use. So the camera itself is very easy and comfortable. You have controls on this side, you have controls and display on this side, you have a central control that's right in the middle that everyone can reach and you, however you address the camera. That's the one thing that everyone always knows from Aton is the comfort and ease of use of the camera has always been paramount to them and they brought that to this design format. So it's a really nice system that just has a lot of thought into it of how the operator addresses the camera. You have a really high functionality too where the, the sensor, which again beyond 4K is what they're saying and when it delivers next year you know, we'll know just how far beyond they might get, but it's a DALSA uh, sensor that is a CCD with a global shutter and that's the same kind of sensor that they had in the DALSA Origin uh, digital cinema camera, but this is a, an evolution of that and it was purpose built for uh, Able, for, for uh, Aton's design. And then that sensor is gonna have a dual sensitivity, which is this new concept. It is an 800 ISO sensor, but then it can be made to work as a 100 ISO sensor with no loss of dynamic range. 13 stops of dynamic range on this camera. And it's gonna be able to, the, the advantage of having 100 ISO is that when you shoot outdoor daylight, you don't wanna have to pile in, put in piles and piles of ND, and you don't wanna, if you, darken it down electronically, you don't want to then lose your dynamic range and crush your blacks. This way, it's a camera that can work as an 800 ISO or a 100 ISO, and that hits two really sweet spots for the way that people might want to light. 
again, compact, easy, easy to use, inexpensive media, extremely high quality, and very comfortable. The camera itself will be available next year in the summer and uh, should be priced very competitively with other camera systems that are the highest quality digital cinema cameras with an optical viewfinder system, spinning re re reflex mirror, top of the line product from Atai. Here, presented to you by Abel Cinetech at the NAB Show.